Kieran, thank you for sitting down to talk with us on a lovely day up here, brilliant location. Uh, the sun's out, we'll keep the interview quick. We're not going to get the factor 50 out, as you said. There's a reason to celebrate, though, for the club today and, and for you personally as well. Congratulations on the new contract. How do you feel? Yeah, delighted. Um, yeah, it's uh, you know a joyous day, really. Um, it's been been a few weeks in the offing and um, I've been on, on holidays as well, so I've just been glad to get back yesterday and be able to to get in today and and, uh, and sign for this wonderful football club. You know, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time so far, um, and it's it's on to the next step now. You know, we, we've we've made a lot of progress. We're in a good direction, but um, I arrived here with with a lot of ambition and, and matching the ambition that you know myself and Mark spoke about and that the ownership have, and it's about um, pushing on with that now. So, no, it's 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 a really good day for me and my family. Um, very proud to, to continue to represent this club and, and very grateful for the faith that they've put in me. Everyone deserved a break, but knowing you, I'd imagine you're ready to go again. Yeah, I can't wait now to get going, to be honest. I have, um, yeah, I had a good holiday. We, we didn't take a holiday last year because, you know, we would a few months into the job and there was so much to be done and it was a, a shorter off season. So um, I've had a few weeks away now, some with the family and, and some with my wife. So um, I just can't wait to get back going now. There's, there's been little bits of work going on in the background, but um, by myself and a lot of work by the club, but I'm really looking forward now to getting back to the early starts in the office and, and looking forward to seeing the players again next week and, and getting into pre-season and, and setting up for, for what should be a really exciting season. Naturally, of course, with a new contract, you're going to talk about the next four years and the future, but it's important to highlight the time so far. I think I remember speaking to you on Sunday Stroll and you used the word progression. How do you analyse your time at the club to this point? Yeah, I think it's... Um, yeah, it's been a, a really, really good 18 months, I have to say. I think we've, we've achieved, you know, what we wanted to achieve. We're, we're on track. Um, we've made a lot of progress behind the scenes as well as on the pitch. Um, and it's been fantastic 18 months. And I have to say the, the welcome that we've had personally as a, as a manager, as with the staff and, and as a family as well, the welcome that we've had to the area um, by people inside and outside the club has been you know, really fantastic and, and that means a lot and um, that's a big part of why it's been such a good 18 months. But yeah, it's, um, you know, it's about looking forward as well. Of course, we've, you know, we all loved last season. It was a really special season for everyone involved. Um, but it's about making the next memories now and we know we've got big challenges ahead. We know what we're going into, but um, we also know and we, we saw last season that the power of this football club and we saw um, things moving at a good speed in the right direction and we want to really work really hard to continue that so um, yeah certainly uh, an 18 months of progression and, and big steps forward um, and now it's it's just about getting back out there and continue to work every day to, to keep going in that direction. Things can sometimes take time in football has the group and perhaps the club as a whole surprised you in just how much we've accomplished in those 18 months because it's not just on the pitch as you say. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, I think, as you say, yeah, promotion was 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 great, and that was a goal. Um, but there was a lot about how it was achieved, and you know, the the, the atmosphere, the, the football that we played, the the way that the whole club got behind the team, and, and made it such a special season that that probably felt more than the promotion. Um, but yeah, I think the work behind the scenes, the work at the stadium, the work at the training ground, the work of new players coming in, new staff coming in, the, the atmosphere within the club, the plans going forward. I think that's all happened really quickly and um, that's the pace that we want to move at. And mm. again, we know that, you know, the next competition we're in is going to be a lot tougher and we know there's, you know, there's going to be a lot of competition on the pitch, but we want to keep moving this club forward. It's, it's such a, a fantastic football club, such a big, big part of the community here. And when the club's progressing and doing well, it's such a big lift to the to the whole area and we want to keep doing that and um, I'm so grateful that that vision is, is shared by, by Mark and by the board and by the ownership group and um, that that work's going to continue. Is it important to highlight as well that yes we have moved forward quickly but there's a stability about, about what we're doing? We all know there's a lot of hard work to do but there's very much a belief around the club, not arrogance but a belief that if we continue to work hard and do the right things we'll get that progression as you say. Yeah I think so. Um, Look, stability in, in football is hard to find these days and um, 
certainly in myself and the players and the staff, we know that we have to keep trying to win as many football matches as we can while this is going. But what, what I do see and feel from the club is a, is a desire to make good decisions um, for the short term, but also for the medium and long term to invest in the club in things that hadn't been invested in in a long time to continue to make investments and put work into things that you know, might not help us today or they might not help us a week down the line but may help us a few months down the line and years down the line and I think you know, we're, we're custodians of this football club at the moment being in this seat um, but it was here for a long time and the massive football club before I was here and will be here for a long time after I'm here so um, my feeling is, is that we, we have to, we have a responsibility to keep you know grow in the club in the right way, in a sustainable way and um, trying to make sure that we're, we're leaving a really good legacy here and we're leaving the club and pushing the club in a, in a really positive way and again the good thing for me is that's, that's shared by Mark and that's shared by the board and that's shared by the ownership group and we all um, feel that responsibility to do the right things for the club in the short term but also for the medium and longer term and I think that's, that's not always easy to find in football. Yeah. Um, these days and the nature of the industry is, is short term and you, you get judged on a result once or twice a week and um, of course that's part and parcel of it but um, the, the bit that also excites me is the, is the planning and building for the future and, and putting things in place that will, will have a big part for the club and for the, for the whole community for, for a long time to come. How much is possible over the next four years? No, there's, there's certainly, look, we're, there's no upper limit to be put on this. Um, we know what we're going into again. We're, we're humble going into next season. We're going up to a, a re, what's going to be a really competitive division, and you know the, the next step is we have to be competitive at that level and show that we can compete, and that's a challenge. But you know beyond that, there's we don't want to put an upper limit on this football club because it's it's operated at the highest levels of of English football before, and it's um, operated at the highest level of, of European football before, and. Um, you, you can see and feel it as soon as you come here and you can see last year and you know we're filling the stadium and uh, the difference and the what it's making to people's lives and the, the backing of the whole community and that's when the club's operating in League One so I think there's a, a massive scope for this football club to keep growing but we, we know how hard that's going to be and we know there's no guarantees so yeah look we, we're going into the season we've got, I'm going into the next four years humble um, the players and the staff will be the same but we also certainly won't be putting uh, any sort of upper limit on what we can achieve here. On a personal note, you mentioned at the beginning, of course, it's a proud day for you and your family. I remember reading and, and hearing you talk about when you were a young boy watching the, the games in Northern Ireland and, of course, with, with your injury and things like that, the circumstances. What would the young Kieran McKenna say right now that you've achieved promotion in your first full season in charge and got a new four-year contract at Ipswich Town? Yeah, it's an interesting one. I think, look, those those things are hard to reflect on when when you're in it. To be honest, it's mm. probably maybe more you know your parents and people who, who've saw through the journey who can reflect a little bit easier than you. And it's a proud day for them. For me, um, it's very hard to look backwards when you're when you're in the middle of it, especially in the season. But even in the off season now, it's about the excitement of next year. Um, so yeah, look, there's no there's no doubt that it's. It's a very proud journey for me to be at this point, of course. Um, I wanted a, a longer career as a professional player, but um, you know, was, was lucky and, and fortunate to, to have the opportunities that I had as a player and to be able to transfer that into coaching so young and be able to build my career to, to the point where you know, you're, you're working in senior football at a young age and getting a managerial, a managerial job at, at such a fantastic football club at a young age and then for, for that to have you know, started in, in such a positive way. Um, of course, these are things to be proud of, but um, honestly, my, my focus is, is already on the next thing and what's going forward. And I think um, at some stage I'll be, I'll be finished with football and hopefully we'll be an old man when that comes. And um, that will be an easier time to, to look back and, and reflect on, on the journey. For now, it's, you know, it's, really, um, it's a really proud day. It's a proud day for the family. And um, for me, it's, it's just a, a nice sign of commitment from the football club, a nice sign of commitment from myself that, you know, we all want to continue this project and um, keep trying to build this club again.
we're all excited for next season already. What, what are the key ingredients to be, you know, whatever you regard as successful in the championship? Yeah, there's, there's of course a lot of bits to it. I think for me, um, humility, I've said already, I think we, we've had, we, we were a really dominant team last year in League One in performances, but in the end also in points as well. Um, so of course there's an expectation externally that we can go into the next league and be competitive and um, that's what we want to do. Um, but we have to go in and be humble and know that how hard we've had to work to get to this point and it's going to be the same next year. We're going to have to work harder again. Um, we have to be brave. We have to be brave um, in terms of how we go and attack the games, how we go and attack the challenge ahead of us. We've built a really positive um, and dominant playing style and we want to continue with that. We know it's going to be different challenges every week, but we we want to continue in the in the mode that we have of building an Ipswich team that play on the front foot, that play aggressive, fast, attacking football, um, that you know defend in an aggressive and unified manner, and uh, building a team that the the supporters can really get behind. That we'll go and attack every game and try and win every game, and um, you know we have to continue that because. Um, that's part of what made us successful in the previous division and, and I believe that will, that's what will make us successful ultimately in this division in the end as well. So, um, yeah, we have to be humble, we have to be brave, we have to stick together. You know, that's been such a big part of, um, you know, the last, last year and last season's success. Um, we spoke so many times about the challenges of being an Ipswich Town in League One. It was difficult and there's disappointing days and days when things go against you but I always felt that inside the club and, and around the club and in the community everyone stuck together and um, when there were setbacks we didn't let them last too long and there's there's going to be more of those so we're going to need that togetherness um, from the supporters to the to the players to the staff to the to the board to everyone involved with the football club all the stakeholders pushing together again um, to take on the next challenge so for me, that would probably be the big three at the moment, is, is we go into it humble, but we go into it brave, ready to attack it again, and, and we go into it with a great sense of togetherness. And if we do those three things, then again, I'm certainly not going to be putting any, any upper limits on what this club can achieve.